Hey, this is Albert with Big Fish Audio. This tutorial is going to show you how to install a UVI product. For this demonstration, I'm going to be saving all my files to the desktop, but if you have your own music library set up, feel free to save your files there. Let's start by opening the receipt you got in your inbox from us. Click the links and choose the save location, then sit back as they download. Once your files are downloaded, we're going to need to extract the contents. If you're already familiar with how to extract a RAR file, then do so. If you haven't done this before, we recommend WinRAR for Windows users and UnRARX for Mac users. I'll be installing UnRARX here. So let's on, head on over to UnRARX.com, click the download button, and wait for that to download. Should only take a few seconds. Now we're going to open up our applications folder on the Mac and drag the application in there, which will allow us to then use it later. Now that we have that installed, we're going to click part one of the RAR file and start the extraction process. You will only need to click part one and the rest of the product will extract with it. So now that we have the product extracted, you should have just one UFS file. If the extraction gave you any errors along the way, then your download did not complete or got corrupted. You should download it again. Now that we have the file, we're going to need to download the UVI workstation, which we can find at uvi.net. Just follow my on-screen instructions and you'll be able to find the download process. Now that we have the UVI workstation install file, we're going to double click that and get it loaded onto our computer. Follow any on-screen instructions that the program gives you, choose a destination for the application, and it will do the rest. Now that we have that installed, we're going to place the product in its proper folder. For Mac users, go to your startup disk, then Library, Application Support, UVI Soundbanks folder, and drag it into there. For Windows users, go to your C drive, Program Files, UVI Soundbanks folder, and place it in there. Once the product is in the folder, we're going to need to register that title at uvi.net. If you don't already have an account with UVI, then click the sign up button and fill out your personal information. I already have an account, so I'll be going straight to the registration process. So click product registration, and now you're going to need the serial number that came in your receipt from us. Copy and paste that into the text box, then type your iLock login name. If you don't already have an iLock account, then go to iLock.com and create an account there. Click the register button and it should load for a second and then be good to go. And you'll be able to see the title that's registered there in the listing. Now we're going to head over to iLock.com and activate the product. So click View Account, then click iLock License Manager. We're going to need to download a manager to manage this license. Now select the proper operating system. Since I'm on Mac, I'm clicking the Mac OS X and let that download. Now that we have the install file downloaded, we're going to double click that and begin this install process. Same as before, follow the on-screen instructions and it will place the program in your applications folder.
Now we're going to start up that application, so navigate there and double click the iLock License Manager. Okay, so click the sign in button, enter your login information, and let it load. Your product should show up in the list on the right. Right click on the title, select activate, choose the highlight that you wish to put the license on, and it will transfer all the necessary information over. It will show you a success message if everything worked out okay. Then all we need to do now is go back to the Applications folder, open the UVI workstation, double-click the browser, and navigate to your product. You're all set to go from here.